Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial we will learn how to use the pattern command and create a repeatable object. If we take a look at this scan, we see that there are elements like this one which are actually repeated. In this case we have five instances around this cylinder. Before we begin let's explore a bit how this is located. So, if we take a look at the object, we see that, I will just flip from the top position, we see that the center of the axis, the world uh, coordinate system, is actually not going through this cylinder where we need to have this repeatable object. So, that's why, for this reason, we have something which we call the small cylinder, which we created here and it's parallel to the, um, in this case, to the y-axis. We created already a big body of our surface and now we can start and doing our circular pattern. For this reason I just quickly created a small cylinder in one of the hole and one plane. Let me hide this reference mesh for now. I will just zoom and create my object which is a trim surface. I can just select the two elements, call trim and remove what I it's not needed. Press done and I have my element. So now I can go select my element and call pattern circular pattern. In this case, the user is offered to several options how he wants to reconstruct the instances. Let's take a look. By default, it takes the z-axis, but in our case it's y-axis. And if we just visualize this on the screen, and this is it creates so many instances. If I put four instances and press preview, it just fills the whole 360 degrees. If I select seven, it just will create seven instances. In some cases, we may need not to create the full 360 degrees pattern, so that's why we can customize this. Let's try to make 180. In this example, what happens is that the software takes the angle we want to fill, which in our case is 180, divides by 7 and fills this with the instances. Because the software doesn't know in which side this should be, so the user has an option to flip the rotation, so instead on this side, he can just create the instances on the other side. This command flip rotation is only applicable if we have an angle which is different from 360 degrees. So, if as we see on the screen now, this is rotated around the y-axis, but this is not what we want. So that's why we can select the axis drop-down list and pick the axis of any other cylinder. In our case, the job will be done if we select a small cylinder. And in our case, we only have five instances. I just press preview and then I press OK. So now we have, I'll just turn this off, we have all the elements positioned where we need them to be. Again, we can just select the circular pattern. I can select my body, right click and start trimming. I can just remove the surfaces which are not needed. And when I'm happy, I can just press done. So in this way, we just keep our surface to be a solid body. At any point, you can come and edit the circular pattern, which will give you the last uh, model as a transparent. So you can come and change the number of um, instances. You can change the angle. You can preview. And when you're happy, you can just press OK or you cancel the operation. So basically, that's all about the circular pattern. Thank you for watching.